Hey guys, Castro here. I just want to do a quick video on uh, the new MacBook Pro and DJing. Now, uh, from the very beginning of the rumors of the MacBook Pro not having uh, USB-A ports, the traditional ports, um, it, it seemed like there was an influx of articles saying that, you know, it's going to be harder for DJs to, to work with this. What if uh, some software is not compatible due to the lack of the ports? And uh, most people obviously don't think that laptop DJing is dead. Um, if you are one of those people that thinks, hey, it's, it's just another expense we have to work with, that's perfectly fine. This video isn't for you. This video is just to quell the uh, people who are kind of uh, nervous about upgrading to a MacBook for various reasons. Uh, maybe it could be like me where it crashed mid gig and um you know i just didn't want it to happen anymore so what i did was i went ahead and picked up the new macbook pro i really do like staying in the apple ecosystem and uh so a lot of people are having issue with the fact that they've pretty much dumped the usb a standard and as all of you know all dj gear all hard drives all pretty much anything that connects to this computer to these computers that we use to dj use USB-A. Now, there's a lot of ways to get this connection, and I have tested um, so far for the equipment I have, which is a, I have a Newmark NV, I have a Pioneer DJM T81 mixer, and I have two externals, but uh, this is the one I use the most. Now, the, the issue starts where you need to make that connection. And you know, Apple and other companies are happy to sell you these adapters. Uh, here I have the Apple one. Uh, the flash is on because I have pretty much dark room and a dark air, dark everything. So here we have this adapter, which uh, at the very beginning people were complaining it was nineteen dollars. Apple went ahead and dropped the price, and you could be done with that. Of course, uh, due to this new MacBook Pro, this is one with Touch Bar. It has four ports on each side. Yeah, you might need four. Of course, you're going to have uh, four of these, and your computer's going to look like a giant octopus. Um, but, you know, humor aside, in a way, these are kind of just, I don't need another dongle. So, I went online, and um, I picked up these cables from, I believe it's called Cable Matters, on Amazon, for cheaper than this little $9 adapter. And uh, good luck to you if you need any video output. Uh, the cheapest I found was about 50 So, as you know, most uh, big hard drives like this use the micro B standard. Right? Typical. And most of these DJ controllers, if not all of them, use the USB B standard, which is this little connector. Well, instead of having my computer look like an octopus with all these adapters hanging out, I bought these cables that are straight connectors to the new USB-C standard. So here, I know this is my thick cable, is the micro B to USB-C connector. And let me just say, works like a charm. Uh, I don't know what was wrong with my old cable, the one that's USB-A, that uh, never really made a secure connection. But I just wanted to say, Having an actual straight cable connecting is a lot better. Now, both of these, I believe, are 3.1. This is a USB-C, I think, is 3.1 standard. And this is also 3.1 standard. So you will be able to uh, take advantage of the maximum amount of speed due to this being a USB 3.0 uh, hard drive. So we got that one out the way. Uh, I will give you a little demonstration a little bit later. And here we have the USB-C to USB-B. Now, the downside to this is it's 2.0, so you're not going to see any dramatic um, dramatic increase. You know, it's literally just a printer cable that's going to another uh, standard. So you won't, you, you might have that placebo effect where you're like, oh, whoa, you know, it sounds so much better. Uh, the screens in this instance, the screens, oh my God, they're so reactive. Uh, no. Um, fortunately, it stays at the USB 2.0 speeds. Now, 
I would like to take this time to go ahead and connect these and show you what happens with Serato DJ. All right guys, so I have everything plugged up. Uh, I have this is my B micro cable. And this one right here, this little flimsy one, is my USB 2.0 B cable connected to my Newmark NV. So let's go ahead and connect both. Go ahead and connect them anywhere, any free port. So that was my uh, MIDI controller, so I don't think you're going to see anything that says that I connected it. Now with the hard drive, the light has just come on and you will see it here on the desktop shortly. And there it is. So we should have no problems loading every crate that I have. So we'll go ahead and launch Serato DJ. <laughs> and there you go. Quick and easy. Um, I know definitely on my mid-2012 uh, MacBook Pro, it would not come on that easily. It would actually load all the crates, take a while to load the crates, and then connect my audio. Uh, so there you go. Fairly quickly. Um, nothing doing. But that's the end of this video, guys. Just remember, if you're looking to upgrade, um, you're kind of skeptical about a USB-C only laptop like this one and uh, I believe Google have. I'm not entirely sure on that one. Don't worry. It's going to be a pain in the ass to buy cables, but these cables are not expensive if and only if you don't buy from Apple or Belkin. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you all for watching.